Hello, viewers, welcome to Tazonomi Online. Mathematics, mathematics on the go. If you are new, consider subscribing to the channel, like, and share. So today we want to take a, a tutorial on the topic identity element under our uh, usual topic binary operation. Now, when it comes to an identity element, let's start with uh, the identity element of what? Addition. We know that if I have 4 plus a certain number to give me 4. So, say the identity element of a, a, a 4 is just a number added onto 4 to give me 4. That's the identity element. So, similarly, if I have negative 8 plus a certain number, I still still get what? Negative 8. That is the identity element. I am looking for an identity element that when I add it to my number, I will still have to get the same number. No change in the result. And you can uh, agree that here, the only number that can make this statement true is what? Zero. Similarly, the only number that I can add to negative 8 to make it negative 8 will also be what? Zero. So, in real sense, we can say that the identity element of addition is always what? Zero. Zero plus every number remain the number. Now, if I want to say 12 times a given number still give me 12, then negative 7 times a certain number giving me what? Negative 7. I am also here looking for the identity element of multiplication. So what number will I use to multiply 12 in order to get 12? And here we have what? 1. 1 times 12. Give her the same answer. Negative 7 times a given number giving me negative 7 will always be what? 1. So we have the identity element of addition to be zero that of multiplication to be what one but we are moving into binary operation whereby we are not using plus or multiplication we are using uh, operators which are not well defined in this term so it means that if i take an operation star this operation will also have an identity only if it is operated on a given number to give him back the given number as in a operated on a given number, I should get back what? My A. So in this case, we are taking the, the star as either plus or multiplication. So whatever I put here should not change my result. Regardless of how the operator is defined, I should always get what? The A. That is what we are trying to do here. And under identity element, we use the letter E, small letter. So here, we let E be the word we always let E represent what the identity element so it means that if I have A star E I should be expecting the answer to be what A regardless of the operator definition okay so the binary operation this is defined on the set of real numbers by m operator n equals to m plus n plus 10. So what are we doing? We have to find the identity element. So there are three steps. First, use the operation. Second, let e be the identity element. And third, solve for your e. Let e be the identity element. That simply means that if I take my operator m I should have E equals what? M. If I take this, M operated on E, which is the identity element, I should be having what? M. But this operator is being defined in terms of M plus N plus 10. So, I have M plus E plus 10 equals to M. What I said is that we normally use the operator, let E be the identity element, and third, solve for your E. So let's solve for E. Maintaining the E here, we'll have E plus 10 
equals to this m minus m. So what happened again? I'm going to have e equals to, don't forget m minus m is 0. Then this will become minus what? 10. Therefore, so the identity element under the operator, this, is just what? Negative 10. So it means that if I have a negative 10 operator on any number under this definition, I will still get the number. That is the identity element. So here, we also have a binary operator star. It's been defined over a set of real numbers by this definition. We have to find the identity element. So, so if E is the identity element, so let A star E give me what? A. But don't forget, there is a definition for the star. So what definition do we have? We have a definition for our star. What definition is that? A plus B plus what? 2. So in this case, I have the first term, A plus the second term, E, plus 2, equals to still what? A. So next, what will I do? I solve for E. So I can maintain the E here. A is already there. I send the second A, then minus 2. So fast forward, E is going to be minus 2, because A minus A will be 0. And 0 minus 2 will give us minus 2. So therefore, so we can say that the identity element under the operator star is just what? Minus 2. Good. I believe we have learned a thing or two. Thank you so much for watching. The next episode, we will take the inverse of uh, an element. So watch this space for that. Don't forget to like and share with your learning mate.